Welcome everybody to another Get Berkeley Coaches Cafe. It's a very special cafe today because John Blake's going to be leading us in uh, looking at some of the new things that are happening uh, even now. They're already underway with Grip Berkman for all of our coaches. But John, I want you to go ahead and just get started and launch right into things, please. That'd be great. That'd be great. Let's dive in with a word of prayer and then we'll uh, go through some of the some of the exciting things. So, Father, thanks so much for uh, being here with us this morning. Uh, thanks, uh, Lord, for uh, the the coaches that are gathering globally and, and the commitment, Lord, that they have to building unity in the body of Christ. Father, thanks for this chance that we have to uh, uh, respond, Father, to where we believe that you're leading us uh, as a community. And, and Father, uh, pray that you would just join us in this in this time. Uh, it's so exciting to see uh, these different faces and this opportunity to get to share, Father, uh, about what's going on. So, uh, Spirit, come and and join us. Be a part of this. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, where we are headed as a community together. And there's a lot of exciting things going on right now. And, um, and, and so as mentioned, uh, I want to share with you these different things that, that are going on, that are coming up, uh, and then want to open it up for dialogue. And, and I feel uh, a, little, a little funny saying that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off again just to be able to spend time with my son on this on this birthday here, but um, so important that we hear back from you on these things about what's important to you, about what you believe to be um, um, significant from these, what you're looking forward to, what's going to be challenging, all those different things. Uh, we, we want to hear back from you, so we'll give you a couple of different ways that you can respond back um, to that. First thing to get us started, though, uh, you know, the, the first thing that we did was a few weeks ago, we sent out a survey and it's so, you know, you guys know this, it's so important when you do a survey and you feel like, man, ne never know what actually happened with that, that you find out what happened with that. And, uh, you know, within Grip Berkman, uh, listening is, is a really important thing. Obviously it's one of the bodybuilding roles that an active listener that we believe it's so important that we're engaging in dialogue, that we're listening well to what we're hearing from you. And, and as we continue to move forward, uh, the community will drive the changes that we continue to make as, as a team. That as we move forward, your feedback will be so important. So let's talk through this survey as it's one way that we're listening um, to you, to the community. So we sent it out to about 314 people total. That would be the number of active coaches that we have. Uh, 296 were delivered. 44 people responded. Thank you for those of you that responded that are part of this call or that may be watching. 18 trainers, 26 coaches. Um, and, and want to share with you a little bit of, of what we heard in this survey. So one of the things that we ask is, how do you feel about your connection to the Grip Berkman community right now? Um, and on a five-point scale, uh, it was a 3.23. Frankly, that gives us a lot of opportunity for growth, a lot of opportunity for us to, to find new ways to connect people to the community. And again, we, we, we have no desire for Grit Berkman to ever be your primary community. We understand that we will be a support. We will be a place where you come in, you learn your challenge, you have new ideas, and then you go back into your local context. But we want to be able to be relevant in those opportunities for you. In the question of what are you looking for more, the, the highest rated one was ongoing education and connection to other GB coaches. Not really surprising, but shows us that, you know, as we continue to develop new things, as we continue to grow, how can we continue that process of providing new information, sharing with you what we've learned, um, and, and then providing opportunities for you to connect with coaches um, in a meaningful way? What are the venues like this where we're able to have some, some dialogue, some uh, specific targeted, hey, I really would love to learn more about this. So we'll continue to do that. The preferred learning style, this was interesting, uh, that, that came across was uh, mentoring. Uh, now, this is the reason that there's a little asterisk there is there's actually a little bit of variance. The other things are pretty similar from the coaches and trainers. This is one where uh, the coaches aspect of it bumped this up into the highest place of, of a 3.85. Um, and really what that tells us is that this mentoring 
is an opportunity that we have from trainers to coaches, obviously more experienced coaches to those that are getting used to it and some some peer coaching as well. So, um, you know, again, you learned in, in your coaches training, that mentoring of pouring in the peer coaching of, of drawing out and, and showing the relationship between those two. So look for opportunities, um, around that in the future on what we may be doing. And if you have some creative ideas on how we might be able to structure or work in that, we'd love to hear back from you there. Uh, and the way that you, uh, like to learn is also then, uh, face-to-face -face courses, which obviously in, in today's world, I think that would have been even higher right now, right? We would all love to be able to be in a face-to-face -face course, but uh, we'll continue to have different ways that we can do that. Ways that you want to use Grit Berkman in the future, uh, two of them probably not surprising, team coaching and individual coaching, those were by far the highest two. The third one uh, was interesting, and that was change management. And so uh, for those of you that I haven't had a chance to spend time with before, uh, this is actually uh, I'll, I'll say it's my day job. Um, this is what I get to do. And so I, I, I love uh, dealing with, with change management and understanding it and, and working in this space. So look forward in, in the next few months to begin to see some connection between Grit Berkman and change management um, processes and theory, even tools, how we can connect those to help individuals and organizations and teams navigate the complexities of change. And so um, interesting that, that in the future, that's something that other people are seeing as a need, something that they want to be a part of as well. Skills that would really enhance your ability. Uh, and, and this gives us some framing for some of that ongoing education, just as the change management does some things where, again, this will guide both our equip team uh, as well as even our connect team, some of the different um, teams and, and where should we be spending some time. And so asking good questions, uh, team debrief to group exercises. I think that's a that's a huge one. And we'll talk about some new opportunities for coaches that you will have in the future for uh, group reports that will make it easier even in that to be able to navigate it. And then helping teams move from I to we. This idea of what is the process of truly going from uh, self-awareness self-discovery to uh, intentional um, investing and paying attention and uh, to the others around us in such a way that expands the body of Christ, that it grows the body of Christ. So uh, how will we be able to do that as a group? So uh, important just to note on that, uh, that, that we're going to use this as, as fodder for um, for our leadership teams or for some of our teams in Grit Berkman uh, to continue to create the right things for you. That being said, uh, again, welcome your comments in the chat as you know, as you saw these different things or as you've um, thought through other ways. And if you didn't get a chance to complete the survey, we'd love to have those uh, responses from you as well. What would be your preferred method of learning and, and what would be some things that you would love to learn. So feel free to throw that in the chat and we'll make sure that that, uh, that we process that uh, as well moving forward. But let's talk about some of the things that are changes that are changing, that are coming up here. Um, and and the, the, the first one is really just this idea of, of we're trying to create an inclusive experience for you. So starting um, by the end of the month, you will be able to order and pay for your assessments completely online. Um, you, you've seen a little taste of this if you've been on, on the site recently. Um, over the past couple months, just with the grip, being able to do that, this will be for all of the assessments to where this will be streamlined. It won't be send an email here or there. It'll be completed entirely in the, in online. Again, just simplifying the process for you as a coach um, and, and trying to make it to where, uh, again, it, it, it's easily maintainable. So you'll log into the site and then be able to order the, the uh, assessments based on whether you're a coach or a trainer. Uh, you'll have visibility to the right assessments. Uh, maintaining visibility of all your coaches. This is the portal. Now we've had a portal before. There will be some additions to the portal that will be really helpful um, to you in that um, we'll begin to have their grip uh, their actual Berkman reports in there as well uh, for people that are just taking it. That won't be an automatic, everybody will be uploaded instantly, but as new people are taking it and as we go back and we and uh, as you request, we can get their Berkman reports 
into the portal as well so that you can have that PDF there available to you at any time for anyone that you've coached or worked with. That should uh, truly help in that. And then simplifying the training experience. This is more on the trainer side, but just a lot of standardization. And what's important uh, for coaches, both for some of you that are, are in process or want to be in process to become a trainer, uh, that there will be a more streamlined process for that, as well as for those that you're encouraging to go through a coach's training, uh, that experience from uh, the participant perspective of having a centralized place to register and knowing that they will be in contact with support that will be helping make sure that their reports are in the right place and and that uh, will be really important as we continue to move forward so uh, looking at that let's talk about individually now some of the different things that will be changing so on the grip side we're, some exciting changes or updates coming in in the grip so updated report with a cover page and an introduction to our values and paradigms we for those of you that have been around a long time, you know that it used to actually be a, a workbook that people would go through and it would facilitate this discovery process as you went through it and the reflection and, and it would line out and have an introduction that really helped you understand the value and the importance of this. So we really felt like we wanted to make sure that there was some introductory information. So cultural values, the postures, um, the the significance and role and unity and love, those concepts are in this introduction now to help give a little bit of framing for people as they begin to dig into this. We all know that we believe in the paradigms so much and the, and the assessment gives us that language to be able to talk through it, but we want to make sure that the paradigms are there as well for everyone that goes through that. So important that we added that in. Correct uh, pagination for the grip. Uh, and just the overall appearance is improved of the GRIP report. Uh, improved accuracy of the, of the assessment. So traditionally, when you took the, the GRIP, it was based on a three-point scale. Uh, we're shifting that to a five-point scale so that hopefully that will create a little more differentiation between some of the gifts so that you'll have less times where all of the top six gifts got a score of 22, um, you know, and, and so that we can begin to see some uh, difference in that and, and should help with the accuracy, should help with you being able to help coach someone through in that. So feel like that'll be valuable as we do that. Uh, inclusion of here's what I think of you. For those of you that may not remember from your coach's training, because some of you may not have used it, but here's what I think of you is essentially a 360 tool. It's a tool where, uh, you would send it out if you were taking the grip Berkman, you would send it out to three to five individuals that know you well, uh, that have seen you in ministry, and you allow them to speak into your life. They would fill out essentially a very simple assessment on how they see God working powerfully through you. And that then becomes an added component. So often we talk about that gifts are discerned through and in relationship, right? That we understand those because of the way that we're serving in the body of Christ. And so allowing others to speak into that gives us that opportunity to not just go with what I put down where we have to deal with all the same problems that we know of gift projection and, and sort of a gift expectation that I feel like I should have all this sort of thing. It allows others to speak, and this is how I see God using you powerfully, and it's a great affirmation. So we're going to be including that in there, um, and, and we'll give you more details. Next Coaches Cafe will actually probably be centered just around that tool um, and how, we, how you can begin to integrate that into your coaching experience for those of you that haven't been using it. Uh, really exciting that, that we're able to do that because, again, allows others into that process and, and uh, should be really valuable. From the Berkman experience, some really great changes for coaches that I'm really excited to be able to share with you. The biggest of which is that you will actually be able to have your own Berkman sub account. And what, is this, what does that really translate to? Not only will you have a portal that will be saving all of uh, all of your coaches where you can then see them and have access to them, create groups with them, but you will actually have access to about 43 reports. We're, you're, we're taking you from having your basic report where we give you that, that has an, a, a couple of insights pages to where now you will be able to customize your own packet of 
uh, of these unique reports of insights. So let's say that you, um, you may have a time where you're working with a team in an ongoing way and you would really like to just talk about uh, trust and time management. Um, as it pertains to the organization and how that is is played out. Well, there are insights reports specifically for those things to where you can have those. Um, and, and actually, there are group reports that are associated with those so that then you could use that in, in a coaching or in a uh, team coaching experience to continue the learning. So allows you a lot more customization on the Berkman side to be able to um, identify and create uh, custom report sets for that. So I think that'll be really uh, valuable to you. The other thing that is so valuable inside these 43 reports is that you'll have access to group reports. So as a facilitator and as a team coach, being able to go in there and see, um, create a, this is for, um, you know, first church, you know, um, and this is their board, you'll be able to keep that, pull those individuals in and pull then their unique reports just for that group um, and including their, uh, their Berkman map. So that will be uh, a, a great added value to you um, in being able to have your own sub account. Think that that will really um, provide some exciting opportunities as you continue your relationship uh, with your uh, with those that you're coaching. From a, a training perspective, and again, so we we had an opportunity to share with some of the trainers, but want to just highlight some of the things again in this venue that you can see that that the registration will now be completed through Grip Berkman. So before, uh, you know, each trainer sort of had a little bit different process. We're going to be standardizing that process of registration, of making sure that all the information is there. There won't be as much back and forth between the the, the trainers and and um, Grip. Berkman as far as do we have this, do we need this, that sort of thing, uh, that will be streamlined in the registration process. We're going to continue and build really on um, improved promotion of the training. You'll continue to see um, some social media. Don't expect huge, you know, huge presence, but there will be a presence in, in a variety of platforms then for communication around this so that then as coaches, as you're trying to get others to go through the coaches training or participate in them, um, that you can plug them into that. The other thing is that all coaches trainings now will be required to have two trainers. Uh, you know this, you've experienced this, and, and it's you know a huge principle in change management that we have to model the behaviors that we expect to see. And so part of that in our Grit Berkman community is that we do life together. Um, and if we do life together, then that means that even in the training venue, we need to be um, sh modeling what appropriate and valuable interaction looks like. What does it look like for, uh, for uh, us to play into our strengths and to, to allow others to live into their strengths and to be able to communicate how much we need one another? So we're, we've incorporated that in as well. And then, uh, you know, whether you want to call it COVID related or whether it's just the, 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 the realities of, of the times, we are going to be doing more opportunities for online training. Uh, so we've, we've run our first uh, online coaches training. Tracy Lynn uh, was able to do one that was sort of a precursor for us. And then we uh, established a task force that Jay Jarbo and, and Grady and Mark and uh, others came together and, and put together a map and then they were able to uh, have that experience and, and I've been able to see some of the responses from the participants of that uh, and it's just exciting uh, that, that the, the way that they were able to model and, and show the values that we have as a community um, in an online venue. And it, and it takes great creativity and, and thanks so much to that team for what they've done to create uh, a process for us so that moving forward then we'll be able to do this uh, on a more regular basis. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't think any of us would say that the online will ever replace face-to-face, -face, but uh, in our new world, it's a, it's, a, it's a component that's here to stay. And so us figuring out how to build and live in the community in a virtual space is truly important. And it's an area where 
uh, we need to be uh, we need to be helping others as they're dealing with this. What does it look like to build unity in the body of the Christ in a virtual space? Uh, and so we're going to continue to process through that. We are going to be uh, also creating an MOU. There will be two separate MOUs, one for trainers and one for coaches. The coaches one will talk about uh, different things like the use of Grit Berkman. When is it, uh, when is it okay? When is it not um, okay? What are you allowed to do as a coach? What are you not? That sort of clarity around that. That's a part of the coaches training currently, um, but we just want to formalize that a little bit more so that there's great clarity. And again, that we know that consistently everyone's on the same page. So uh, with our relationship with Berkman, that integrity component of that is really important. Um, and so we want to, we want to make sure that we're communicating that. And then the con connection to the community, what, you know, as a coach, what does that mean? How, how do we do that well? How do we engage in that? So uh, looking forward to how we can uh, share with you opportunities and then uh, allow you to share some of your expertise back. I think that's one of the untapped resources that we have right now, frankly, as a community is uh, how do we leverage some of the great experiences that you guys are having? And I you know, heard as I was getting on, uh, Larry talking with, with Terry about some of the uniquenesses and man, we should do an interview. And that's exactly the sort of thing that we want to talk about. How can we begin to hear those stories? And, and as coaches, then what's your preferred method of doing that? Would you like to have a webinar? Would you like to write an article? Would you like to do an interview with our team that we could capture? Uh, would you like to just have one-on-one -on -one conversations, but allow you that opportunity to speak into that on how we connect? So the connect team, uh, you know, led by Matt and, and the equipping team led by Larry, we're going to continue to be reaching out and saying, hey, um, how can we pull in your expertise so that as a, as a community, we can um, all glean from your learnings around different things. So uh, look forward to, to sharing together in that space as well. Uh, the other thing starting July 15th that, that did want to let you know is that we will have a price increase. Um, this is a reality of, of being in relationship with, with Berkman that, that we are, uh, uh, every couple of years we're in a contract negotiation with them around pricing and, and our pricing is uh, highly uh, dependent on where, the, where that pricing goes. And so just understand that, um, you know, these will be the new prices. So the, the grip will have, will be $15. Um, we'll be offering volume discounts. The more, the more that we continue to shift to team coaching and to wider rollouts, we understand that grip as a standalone will be an important component of that. And based on that, we wanted to make sure that we began to um, create some volume discounts for that. That will not be for the grip Berkman at any of the levels, but just for the grip as a standalone, but we will be uh, offering that starting uh, July 15th as well. The basic report will be $59. The signature report will be 99. And then to get signature suite access will be 129. So again, coaches, for most of you, that $59 price point will be the most important one for you to pay attention to. Uh, those of you that have been signature trained or that are trainers, those bottom two prices will be important. So uh, that that is uh, a reality. Hopefully, um, you know, that we, we did what we could to keep it uh, as close to the previous price and uh, uh, appreciate you guys uh, journeying with us through that. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to share with you a little bit is just some additional upgrades and things that you can expect to see uh, coming up. And, and the, the first one is GRIP group reports. So again, as we as a community continue to look at the unique value that GRIP Berkman has in teams, we know we need to invest into that space. And so one of the primary things that we're going to be uh, moving forward on is how do we create GRIP group reports. So don't look for anything fancy to start off with, but some of those reports that or some of those graphs that you may create every time of just looking at team styles and bodybuilding roles, you know, where are different people at, those will be the sort of things that we'll start with um, that will just ease your way as a coach uh, as you're looking at 
uh, grip in, in the group settings. The other will be connecting groups. You know, in that survey, you talked a lot about both geographic groups would be valuable to you, but also those that are using it in similar ways. So look for different groups uh, to be emerging. And, and really, if you're interested in, in heading up one of those groups of saying, hey, I would love to talk with people that are looking at how could we use this um, in organizational spread for onboarding or how could we use this uh, in church planting or how could we use this in board development or how could we use this in uh, marital counseling um, settings or how could we use this in uh, short-term mission trips? Those types of things, they may be one-off conversations or it may be an ongoing group where you come together a few times, but we want to create the space for that. So as you hear things that may intrigue you, uh, Take advantage of that and say, man, um, how could we make that happen? Because I'd love to find out if there are other coaches that are using it in this way. Um, and then additional learning opportunities. Uh, you'll, you'll be finding that uh, we will continue to have the Coaches Cafe um, as, as one opportunity. We'll can, um, continue to have uh, some form of, of a newsletter moving forward, but uh, we're also going to, to experiment with different things. And, and frankly, as we try different things moving forward, we'd love two things. One, for you to be involved both in helping lead into those, but participating in them and then providing the feedback. Hey, I really enjoyed that. That worked well for me. That didn't, that didn't really connect with me as much or, um, and, and allow us to know how we can serve you best. So as a leadership team, the, one of the, the key things that I want you to hear in this is that uh, we're striving to be responsive to what you're communicating to us. And the only way that we're able to do that well is as we continue a dialogue around what would help you most as coaches to be able to use and understand and help those that you're coaching. Um, so all those different areas, we want to be serving you in that. Um, so we're excited about the things that are coming. We're excited about uh, the, the the changes and and the updates and the upgrades that will be there, and uh, and look forward to your feedback on how we can continue to grow as a community, uh, continue to serve you, and continue at the end of the day to build unity in the body of Christ so that more people will know Jesus. So, thanks so much for the chance to be with you guys this morning, and uh, fun to fun to share and see so many of you on online. So. Thanks so much. Larry, I'm going to hand over to you, sir. Thank you, John. It's, uh, it's exciting for me to hear some of the things that you're sharing with us and to know that um, uh, we are trying to move forward. I'm excited about the creativity of our team that in spite of the COVID-19 shutdown and slowdown and we're not able to have face-to-face -face meetings and that sort of thing, that we're still looking for ways to help the church to be the church help people to get their gifts engaged, to work together and to learn their needs and how their personalities and their strengths all work together to help them be productive and see the kingdom of Christ continuing to grow as people are coming to faith. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do with all of this. With that, uh, I'm sure some of you have questions. Um, you're welcome to use the chat if you want to type your question in or your comments. You're also uh, welcome to just unmute now. Uh, feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question or make a comment if you would like to. And John's going to be on for a little while listening. Uh, Ken DeMar is on with us also from our leadership team. And um, I'll be happy to uh, try and take notes of these. We will be trying to create a, uh, an FAQ page also uh, that will be up on the website, uh, hopefully by Friday after this meeting. So with all of that, what are your questions or your comments? By the way, you might have seen that uh, Wayne had a question about the difference between a coach and a trainer, and Jay Jarbo gave us a really good, concise answer there. Basically, the trainers are the ones who are conducting Grip Bergman coach trainings. Uh, the trainer, we require them to have been through signature training, at least with Berkman, so that they know a little bit more about the Berkman and how it works, uh, to have a little bit more expertise with that. They have to have completed a certain number of one-on-one -on -one conversations with people about their Grit Berkman. They have to have led at least one or at least a couple of um, uh, team building experiences. 
and they have to co-train with one of our uh, leadership team designated trainers to uh, co-train with you to actually certify the person to be a trainer. So there's a process for all of that. You can see that, by the way, on our website. Uh, if you want to go to the website and look under the um, coaches resources, that'll tell you more about how to become a trainer. Anyone else have any questions or comments for us? Question. Neil, yeah, Neil, um, will there be more opportunities to complete the trainer level? Yes, absolutely. In fact, one of the requirements for that is you have to attend uh, signature training. Um, if you've already attended signature training, then uh, if you're interested uh, or meeting the requirements to go ahead and co-train with one of our trainers to be certified, then what you need to do is just get in touch with us and we'll discover uh, who we can pair you up with. As John mentioned, we're wanting to have at least two trainers in every training event now anyway. So it'd be a matter of just trying to get you paired up with one of our trainers who would be conducting a coach training soon. So um, uh, get in touch with us about that. We understand that, yeah, there have been uh, coach trainings that have been canceled uh, for various reasons. Uh, we need to have a certain number of people present for that. In this particular environment, it's going to be online for a while. We understand that we're not gonna have any live trainings at least for the rest of this year. And we don't know how far into next year it might be before we have any additional live trainings. So uh, just um, stay tuned and stay in touch and we'll try to let you know when one of those might be coming if, if you're interested in, in doing that. I had a question or comment. Yeah. Um, first of all, comment, uh, these are exciting changes. I think there's a lot of great enhancements that will help us probably things we've been doing manually that are being automated for. So that's really exciting. I'm anxious to see that. Uh, I'm really excited about the, the group reporting. And my curiosity is, and I'm made me know the answer, is there any way to go back with prior reports of a group and run them through the group process? That's gonna be probably a yes and no question. Uh, a yes and no answer, John. Um, as we're looking at uh, people who have done the leadership grip in the past, it will depend on when they did their leadership grip, if they're actually in that database now, because, and uh, I may need Ken to drop in here with me. If Ken, if you're still on, I might need yeah. you to, um, to help with this also. If they, are, if they did their leadership grip at a certain point, they are not in the same database, and we can't bring that into the database because of the fact that the uh, questions actually changed particularly in two, 2000, uh, 2017. Um, but if they um, are not in your database, in your sub account database, and they have done the Berkman, it, you can get them transferred into your sub account so that you can then run those, those group reports. Ken, you wanna add anything else to that? Yeah, so um, yeah, the, the 2017 date is a key one. Um, the reality is that uh, the, we can't transfer any of the leadership grip prior to 2017. Um, one of our goals is in the next week here, when we go like the, um, uh, July 15th is the, um, is the date when we're going live with our website. We're hoping within a day after that to transfer every leadership grip that has been done since 2017 into the new website and list it under each coach. So what will happen is that if, if it works, which we're hoping, um, if it works, you'll actually be able to um, look at all of those leadership grip since 2017. And it'll be, un if you were their coach, when you sign into the, to the Grip Berkman site, you should be able to see all of your own leadership grip reports. So that's our goal. Um, and it's um, right now, I'd say there's, a third of them there. We did a sample um, import in the past, but we haven't done that a final one. And then uh, we'll do that in the, I said in July, uh, hopefully. So um, the, the other issue for us, of course, is that um, depending on, you know, while we keep saying that the, the, the Berkman is something you don't have to write again, one of the things that I've been telling people is if your team has changed, if you're working with a different group of people that there is value in, in rewriting the leadership grip part, the grip part. 
because the way God needs to gift you in this context may in fact be different than, than when you wrote it originally. So that's another thing to consider. Does that make sense? Anyone else? <clears throat> Neil, I see the question there also about what about offering a free resource online as a discussion starter? Uh, we are going to have a number of things that will be available free. There are already uh, a growing number of resources that are showing up on the coach's resource page of the website. Um, but I don't know, would you have anything specific in mind there that you're thinking about, Neil? Well, what I was thinking of was uh, having a, a, like just a breakout survey, like it, it could be uh, team styles, for example, and I could say, uh, if I'm working with us, let's say a staff team, I could say, uh, I'd like everyone on your staff team to go to the website, complete this uh, team style survey. It'll be a great discussion starter the next time we're together uh, in, in training. And uh, and then in the, in the context of training, be able to say, there's more to this. It'll, you know, it costs your team uh, uh, more to move beyond this. Uh, it's a complete package and uh, we can turn it into a uh, uh, kind of a 360 view of your, your team. But, but to offer something that would be like completely free, very insightful and get people to the Grip Berkman website engaging with the the system. Ah, okay. So you're thinking about something that would be hooks or teasers to to encourage people to see the value in what, what Grip Berkman would have to offer. Well yeah, that's a very crass way of putting it, but sure. <laughs> well you know me, I'm kind of a crass guy. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, else. Co the comment that's come before is, a, is another one of those gateway drugs to the real thing. There you go. <laughs> to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Some, meat, some meat or a worm on the hook. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know, one of the things we know is that <clears throat> Grip Berkman is a long sale. When, when you're introducing someone who is not familiar with it, and you're wanting to get them interested in and seeing the need for Grip Berkman for themselves and for their team, it takes a while to explain to them what this is and to convince them that they actually need it. It's a long sell. So um, yeah, if you've got ideas about some ways we could do some things like that to provide some of those um, free resources, uh, teasers to get people interested in it, please by all means share those with us and we'll see what we can do to provide some of those. It's a great idea, Neil. Anyone else? <clears throat> well, let me make a, just a quick comment. <clears throat> uh, we're going to be receiving a couple of things um, from us in the next couple of days. There's going to be an email blast going out uh, probably tomorrow for the next signature training. If any of you might be interested in going to the next level and want to go to signature training, we will be offering it online uh, in late September, the last week of September, uh, September 28th to October 2nd. So you'll see that and you can share that with any of your fellow Grit Bertman coaches that might be interested in attending that. Uh, there'll be another email coming out to you just to remind you of a quick survey that we're going to want to take as a result of this um, uh, session that we've had. John mentioned an MOU that's going to be there. We'll have the link for you to go and see the MOU uh, so that you can uh, see what, what you can expect from us as well as what we expect from coaches who are going to be active with Grip Berkman. Uh, the um, expectations are not that much different from what you might have been familiar with before, but we just want to kind of get those a little bit more formalized. Uh, there'll be a couple of other uh, correspondence that will be coming to you. Just keep watching for those. We're going to try and be careful to measure them and not uh, overload your inbox with too much correspondence, but we do want to be sure that we're communicating thoroughly with you about these changes and that you have an opportunity to respond to them. Uh, in that survey, you'll have an opportunity also after you've read the MOU to say, hey, if you're not in agreement with it, if you think there ought to be some adjustments to it, please, by all means, let us hear from you about that. Uh, Ken, you have anything else you need to add in terms of correspondence coming out or 
while you've got the opportunity here with this audience, anything else you'd like to share with them from the leadership team and from support in particular? Well, we're, you know, I guess there's a, I, I'm kind of caught between there. I could talk for an hour or I could uh, say very little, but uh, basically we're wanting to um, make this as just as, as usable as possible and moving towards the website being uh, central to how you order, um, how you get re your reports is the idea is to make it as easy as possible for you. And so we're working towards that. Um, please be patient with us uh, as we work through the, the glitches. Um, and, uh, but I think that in the end, we're gonna look back on this and say it was the best, the best w move forward. And I appreciated your patience. Um, you've been very patient. Several of you tried ordering from the website and it turned out not well. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate the fact that you didn't just write us off, but you, uh, you were patient with us. And so we're, we're working towards making this, working every day to make it better for you. That's our goal. So is it. We do want to try and ease your way as much as possible. Mm -hmm. We do encourage you to uh, communicate with us. If you have um, issues, please let us know about those because other people might be having the same issues and we can help them avoid those uh, by, by nipping them in the bud as soon as possible. Well, listen. And, yes. I say, and on behalf of Anna Dawn, who, uh, um, who has to, to address these most, uh, most issues directly, she, she over and over just talks about the patience and the gracious attitude that so many of you bring to the process. And so when she's trying to do her best to help and uh, you, you often are very, very, very patient and very gracious. So appreciate that. And she says, thank you. Yeah, by all means. When, um, and by the way, uh, Neil, is another question about group of bulk re registration. Yeah, when you're registering people online, we do have to put their email addresses in and you do still have to have a unique email address for each person. Ken, I'm not sure how that will work when someone might have a large group that they're wanting to register all at once. I think, I think we can actually uh, add mul or multiple people at the same time. So um, when you're putting email addresses in, you can put multiple in email addresses. We'll work on that, but you shouldn't have to go through the whole uh, process over and over and over. Um, but we'll... What I'm thinking of is uh, either sending you a, a, a table or a, a spreadsheet with, uh, with the information that you need so that... Uh, so, if, if, for example, in my case, it, a church would fill out the... Uh, 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 the their spreadsheet and I'd be able to send you the spreadsheet so we'd have to uh, obviously I'd have to provide them with, with a template that would be compatible with uh, the system so it could be imported uh, otherwise we'd have to let's say there's 20 people in the uh, the workshop we'd have to eat enter each one of those individually uh, and usually that means uh, duplicate activity sometimes yeah, yeah. more yeah, and I think we we use we're using these days JotForm to um, to f to fill out registrations. It's pretty easy to send you a, a sample JotForm that you can have people fill out that that shows up on a spreadsheet. So yeah, we can work towards that. That's a great thing for us to be to be looking at. Thank you. Friends, we want to be respectful of your time. Thank you so much for logging in with us today and participating. Uh, any way that we can help you to ease your way, please, please just let us know. We want to uh, be of service to you. You know that all of these leadership team members are volunteers. Um, uh, we are working at this because we believe in what you are doing as coaches for Grip Berkman, and we want to facilitate that in every way that we possibly can. So by all means, call on us. And let us know when we can be of, of service to you. So with that, let me say thank you very much. Lord bless and uh, keep doing everything you can to build unity in the body of Christ so more people will know Jesus. Bye. Take care.